and especially when you look at the children who who have spent their most of their uh, childhood in the covid time they are extremely attached to the e sports culture and extremely attached to this digital presence that they have Hey folks, welcome to First Check Portfolio Shots. My name is Tejas, and this is a series where we speak to founders of our portfolio companies, so that you get to know the team, understand what they are building, and the problem they are trying to solve. If you like the content that we've been putting out, do like, share, and subscribe, so that we get to reach more founders and startup enthusiasts like you. Today's very special guest is Kostov, co-founder of Tornafest. Tornafest is reinventing the esports ecosystem around us with a seamless and motivating platform. where gamers can enhance their skills with the network alike with tonafest every gamer is a professional and their talent gets the recognition they deserve their mission is to provide a simplified and ace gaming platform for gamers i had a really interesting conversation with kostov and it was really great to learn about their culture and their plans for the future stick around till the end of the episode to learn more hi kostov how are you today uh i'm good tejas how are you i am great too It's awesome to have you here, Kostov, and let's get started. So, my thank you. Thing for you today is that what is the problem you're trying to solve at Tornafest? Okay, so uh, esports is one of the biggest entertainment industry of the world, and India alone hosts more than four hundred million gamers here. And not just the gamers, there are more than ten thousand gaming communities in India. so what these gaming communities do they are not just facebook groups they are very highly engaging communities and they what they engage is in not just uh, social interactions where they are chatting with each other and sharing their progress or asking themselves what they are the other person is doing they also host a lot of gaming tournaments so there are more than 1000 1000 uh, gaming tournaments happening in india every day of uh, online games like the games could vary from uh, pubg or uh, cod valorant any kind of pc games and mobile games combined mostly are uh, 90% of the games hosted are uh, mobile games right so these gaming communities have been operating in a very uh, archaic manner till now in india the hosting of every tournament is a very tedious process so if you think about a tournament you can just think about the cricket tournaments that happen but now think it on a scale of happening it in esports and on your phone so what happens is the the first step is of discoverability the where every gamer wants to discover what the best tournaments happening for them at the right time for the particular game also right then there is a process of registration thousands of gamers needs to register in every tournament then there is a process of uh, making the tournament happen uploading the results and uh, creating the brackets like which team is going from the first stage to the second one to the third one like we have in ipl or uh, let's say world world cups etc right we have all seen so, but what we see on t- television is just a few hundred teams at max but what happens here is thousands of teams are participating in a in general tournament right uh, once this happens is uh, once you have the results then a uh, person moves forward in the different stages and then becomes the process of uh, distributing the prizes so every at every stage at every process the process is so tedious that these people uh, are using uh, tools like discord and google sheet like using calculators for calculating the results etc so these met- these methods were very archaic and me and my co-founder were part of these uh, gaming community and we uh, had a first and experience uh, doing this all so what we are trying to create right now is a platform for these tournaments to be conducted and to be uh, to happen in a very seamless and scalable way these processes are very uh, uh codeable i would say right and they are happening in a very uh, repetitive manner so what we are trying to solve is to uh, is give the gamers a platform where they can interact with the gaming communities and participate in these tournaments while for the organizer it should be a tool to scale up their business and make things happen at a 20x faster speed yeah so we are trying to democratize the whole tournament ecosystem of india firstly and of course of the whole world that's amazing cost sir uh so what is the progress you had so far uh t- talking about the progress we build our product uh, we launched the product in december the product is currently solving uh for uh, solving the problem of social interactions and the uh, tournament engine uh, so far right the tournament engine is constantly under development and uh, 
but we already have 170,000 gamers on the platform. That's 1.7 lakhs that are registered gamers on the platform, right? And we have hosted more than 6,500 tournaments right now, till now, right? And these are have been hosted by more than 80 organizations uh, across the country. And some of these organizations have participants uh, ranging from 40,000 to even 80,000 gamers, except on Tonafest, right? So that's what the focus has to do. That's, that's awesome, Costa. So um, my next question is, can you tell me how you and Ayush met? Uh, I and Ayush have been classmates from our college. Uh, me and Ayush was uh, used to be in uh, IIT Roadki CSE, although we graduated last year only. And we had been part of, uh, we had been working on different hackathons and startups together. We all, we both had that zest to create something of, uh, something meaningful and something that's really, uh, that that's really impactful. That's what we're trying to do. So we we were working in a lot of startups and hackathons together, and uh, that's where we met for the first time. We met in a hackathon, and uh, till since then we have been uh, being involved in working in on the technical aspects of problems as well as on ideas, and being in uh, been managing different groups in the uh, college also. Amazing, Gustav. And uh, how did you come across this particular problem? Are you a gamer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, of course, uh, me and Ayush both were uh, used to play games a lot casually in our rooms. Like, we had that whole system. Like, I think you must also have experienced that in your college life. In in our uh, hostels, we have this LAN gaming kind of thing and then entered PUBG and games like Mini Manisha. We used to play that a lot in our rooms. And uh, as we moved forward, there were different uh, uh, fests happening in the college, right? So we were managing different groups. So, so we decided to host a, one of the gaming tournaments in the college. So that's where the first experience was, uh, where we managed a complete uh, kind of a complete gaming tournament where just a few hundred participants were there. But we felt what kind of need is there and how much problematic it is to even manage a hundred people. Then we started going on a lot on Discord as it got famous during the COVID times also. Uh, we were playing a lot of gaming tournaments and ha seeing how these organizations are actually functioning. So that's where the ideas we uh, that's where the ideas mold got molded up. Uh, it started a lot back in the college space before COVID, and it got molded in the COVID times to become what to today. Yeah, that's awesome, Costa. So uh, can you talk about the company culture at Tunafest? Uh I would say the company culture is very young. That's that's what we that of what our motto is. Uh, we are uh, we both me and Ayush are very young, and the whole team is very young. Although we have uh, most of the team has more than two years of experience in particularly esports. So we are uh, we have an experience over there. But as people, we are very young, and not just us. Even our target audience, our target demographic, is ranges from 30, 13 years to twenty one years of age. So the company, company culture is always very innovative and very supportive of the new ideas because we are the people who, who are the first uh, adopters of any new idea, any new design, any new technology in the whole world. Like NFT would come, we would be the first ones to adopt it, right? So the company culture revolves around, uh, around bringing up the new ideas and making it all, testing it out, right? And uh, creating innovations the way everyone wants at their place. And secondly, we have a great gaming culture in our, our company also. Like we usually spend, there have been days where we have went to different restaurants or something. And there we went, uh, we spent a two hours playing PUBG in a, in a completely social uh, manner. So yeah, so the gaming, that's, that, that's what lies at the core of our organization and the company. That sounds super fun, Pastor. Yeah. Uh, question for you is, so every startup founder has that real moment in their lives where they feel that they're building something very, very cool. And I'm sure you've had that moment as well. So can you tell us about that moment? Um, I would say that it was when it has happened actually a lot, uh, many number of times, I would tell you the recent one, right? Uh, so when we were, uh, we were doing a lot of user research in the recent past uh, about the about what we want to build next and how we want to mold the product uh, four years or uh, four months down the line. So we were talking to a lot of gamers and a lot of organizers particularly. And we started to, uh, at the same time, uh, I and I wish was sometimes watching cricket and seeing how much the craze of cricket is still in India. So if, uh, in those times, we always felt that these organizations 
could uh, one of these could be the one who, who would be hosting the next IPL of India in esports, and that's where it clicked to us that how much uh, big of a market this is, how big a craze this could this is going to be, and especially when you look at the children who who have spent their most of their uh, childhood in the COVID time, they are extremely attached to the esports culture and extremely attached to this digital presence that they have. So that has been the aha moment for us, where we felt that yeah, this could be the really big thing. Uh, like we and we are seeing it. Like uh, we have not seen such kind of growth uh, and such kind of love that we have received from a game as well. Amazing, Kosta. Amazing. And those are all the questions for you, Kosta. And thanks a lot. Thank you. It was really really fun talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, so much. Thanks a lot.